I'm Marcia Winbeckler, and my husband Roland and I own CakeSuppliesPlus.com. We're professional cake decorating instructors, and we've appeared on the Food Network and TLC's Ultimate Cake Off. We're also known for our life-size cake sculptures that we do of and for celebrities, and photos of those are available on our website too. I'm going to show you how to make a football cake today, and uh, I have baked mine in this kind of a doll skirt uh, pan, and uh, it can make several different cake decorating designs, but a football is one of them. And or you, if you have an oven-proof uh, mixing bowl, either the oven-proof glass or a metal one that is a similar shape, you can use that to bake your cake in. And once you have your cake baked, it will look something like this, has a dome shape. This pan uh, that I used comes with a center metal rod and that helps it bake more evenly. And once you have that done, then you want to cut your cake in half. And so I have mine pre-cut here in half. And then I want to arrange it so that the two bottom pieces now come together. And so it's a, a shape something like this. And the higher that your cake bakes in the pan, actually the better because then it makes a, a little longer football shape. In this case, I'm going to need to trim this down just a little bit to keep the proportions right. And once I get that trimmed, I'll show you what it but looks like. But I trimmed the top some, and then I added uh, some little triangles of cake on the ends and, and sculpted those to make the points on the football. If you wanted to, you could also split this and fill it. Next I want to cover my football cake here with some buttercream icing and if you don't have your own favorite buttercream icing there's a recipe here on YouTube. Just search for Winbeckler buttercream and our recipe will come up and how to make it. And it has to be a crusting type buttercream for this technique I'm going to show you to work. And I've just made it and colored it brown. You could make it chocolate also if you wanted a chocolate flavor, but in this case I've just colored it brown. And you want to make sure and stir out any air bubbles because you're going to uh, want it to be nice and smooth. And then the next thing, I'm after I get it smooth, I'm going to put it on my football. And I'm just going to start covering my football and I never want the spatula end to touch the cake. And the reason you don't want that is because it will bring crumbs back up into the icing and it makes it a little harder to keep it neater. So I just want to put on a nice coat of the brown buttercream here. And keep your shape in mind. After you get it all covered, you want to go back over it with a spatula and smooth it as much as you can. And be mindful of the football shape, trying to keep the shape as close to the cake that you carved underneath as possible. And once you have your cake covered with the brown buttercream, you want to add some texture to that, that football skin texture. And there, I'm going to use a Viva paper towel, but it's a Viva Vantage, and it has kind of that texture that I'm looking for. There's the normal Viva that has a nice smooth texture, and it's great for smoothing your crusting buttercream. But in this case, I want to add texture, so I'm going to use this Viva Vantage. So once the buttercream has formed a crust on it, then I just want to take this paper towel and lay it across the surface. You can test to see if it's sticking. If it's sticking, it'll pull the icing away. Then your icing has not crusted long enough. But what I want to do is just press down and I don't want to rub back and forth because that will pull the icing away from the cake. So what I want to do is just press it on there and see it will get that nice texture from the paper towel. And I'm going to do that over the whole cake all, over all of the icing so I get that texture over the entire thing. All that's really left to finish up my football cake here is to add the white stripes that are on it and the laces down the center. But what I'm doing for my stripes, since none of the um, flat tips are really as wide as I wanted, I'm using a 126 uh, rose tip and I've widened it out at the 
thin edge so that it's a more of an even width. And then I'm just going to decide where I want my stripes and pipe those on. So now I want to add the laces and what I've done is just made a little etch line there in the buttercream to kind of give me a guide. So I want to start over here and I'm using a number 7 tip, seven, number 7 round tip. And there are 8 laces on a football and the last two are kind of a, they're arched a little, just a little bit on the edges. And then I divided the other six up here, over, and kind of make them look like they're going back down into the leather. And there would be my football cake. I also want to show you how you can cover your football cake in fondant and I'm going to use this waffle texture mat and it's quite large, it's like 22 inches long and uh, so I can actually apply right from this mat. And I have my fondant on my texture mat here and I'm just going to roll across this from the center out, making sure I'm getting a nice deep impression. And then I'm going to bring in my cake that I have covered with buttercream and uh, refrigerated it so that it's nice and cool. And I need to spritz this so that the fondant sticks to it nicely. And I'll just bring in my cake and lay this right over the top of this. and then work out any pleats. And the way that you do that is if there are any pleats, you just kind of pull on both sides. I want to pull on both sides of that and bring out the pleat. And I want to be careful not to work out my texture on that. And then I will just trim that up to my football shape. And I can kind of roughly trim it for now and then go back after I've worked it up to the edge of the cake. Okay, and then I'm just going to come in and do my final trim. And I'm going to use my ribbon cutting tool for making the stripes here on the football. And I've got it set at three quarters of an inch for this. And I'll bring in my football cake and I'm going to add a little bit of water to the back of the stripes so that they stick. And then for the laces, you can either use an extruder or you can use uh, a flat surface. I'm going to use two smoothers here and just go back and forth until you get it the thickness that you want your laces and I have a little water on the back of the laces and once I get the laces on there if you wanted to finish up your football with your favorite team's name or something on the side that would look really cool too